Hello and welcome to the Hilton Ocean Enclave here at Myrtle Beach. We're off of 16th Avenue North and Ocean Boulevard, if you couldn't have guessed it by the ocean view. We are going to walk through this entire room, show you every nook and cranny, and a little bit of the facility of what the resort has to offer. But first, we need to check in. There's our building right there. The check-in process is fairly straightforward. They have a loading unloading section like any other hotel. You go into the lobby, which is a an initial reaction, not a big lobby, but then you turn and look up and it's got some headspace. Big enough to facilitate what the what's going on at this resort. It's nice, I like it. You're gonna have to go across the street about a block to a parking garage in order to park. Now the parking starts on the third and fourth floor for a regular guest. The first and second is valet and by permit only. This is the view from the parking garage. Skywheel just over there, we'll get to that in a moment. And that right there is the Enclave. All 27 stories of it. Very, very tall building for this area. So if you're wondering what the parking garage looks like, let's do some magic editing and zip across the street. There's the parking garage about a block away from the hotel. So if we go back to the ground, here we are walking from the parking garage to the hotel. At this point, we've got our key and we're all ready to go. So we're heading to the room right now. Elevator's interesting. Uh, you scan your key card and it unlocks all the rooms that are not common area. If you don't have a key card, you can access the common areas, which are the market, the bar, etc., etc. So this is the view looking south and that's our room right there that balcony. So let's go around to the, let's call it the land side of the building. You've got a really nice view of Myrtle Beach as a whole when you look toward the west. So the side of the building is all glass on all these hallways. There's that parking garage. And if you look out in the distance, you can see Broadway at the beach and the Broadway 360 Ferris wheel right over there. You see it? At night it lights up. It's, it's pretty. Down there, just across the street, it's a little mini amusement park so we are on the 20th floor room 9 so let's get this thing moving very very spacious one bedroom ocean view room this room ran us $200 on a Saturday night in the off season you know February in the summertime, this room could run you upwards to 500 and change, depending on what the weekend is and how busy uh, the town itself is going. It, it fluctuates, it's dynamic, so definitely check your prices before you book a room. Just wanted to point out, it does lock from the top, this balcony, so it is child safe. And this is the space you're gonna have. They give you two chairs and two tables. The other table is just behind me as I was filming. And there's just a jump back to where we were a minute ago and then back to the balcony. So you get an idea of the space. That's the 2nd Avenue Pier in the distance and that's 14th Avenue Pier, the little itty bitty one. 14th Avenue Pier is pretty short. Right in front of you. To the right and down, that is the Boulevard building. Tin Roof, Burger Fi, Banditos, and there's a Starbucks in there. Looking straight down, there is one of their pools, they have an outdoor and an indoor pool to the left under the buildings, the indoor pool. And that is a portion of the boardwalk right there. So you can walk out the back door or front door, however you want to look at it, of the hotel and you're on the boardwalk. Easy as that. So let's get a good overall view of this very spacious. I was very surprised at how much floor space is in this room. It's sold as a sleeps four because there is a bed and that couch over there pulls out. We'll pull it out later so you can see the, the size and nature of it. Uh, TV's smart TV, lots of apps, HDMI cable, wireless charger. Uh, they've got Hulu and Netflix, things like that you can log into and use in the evening. And very convenient, they have a one button that you press and it deletes all your passwords from your accounts for your you know, Netflix, Hulu, things like that. Super convenient. Again, lots of seating. There's seats at the bar, there's seats at the dining room table, and there's several seats in the living room. So if you've got a bunch of people visiting while you're here at the beach, it's gonna have you covered. 
full kitchen, really nice equipment here. Stove, toaster, coffee machine. Looks like there's a ghost closing the fridge. It all comes with the room. So this is a good opportunity if you wanted to bring groceries and make your own meals. Also the balcony, if the door's left open, the AC shuts off. Moving into the, we'll call it the master bedroom. I have a major gripe about this master bedroom and tell me if you agree. Now, you order, or order, you, you rent an ocean view, ocean front room, ocean's right there outside the balcony. And they put the primary bedroom all the way in the back. So even if you have that balcony door open, it's almost impossible to hear the ocean. A lot of these oceanfront hotels, they want you to experience the ocean. And to me, a portion of that is hearing the water. You really can't hear it from this bedroom. Uh, your guest or your secondary person with you that's sleeping on the couch, they're gonna get a much better experience, in my opinion, because they're gonna see the water and hear the water. Check out the bathroom, a very large shower. We'll call this a two-person shower, if you will, if you're so inclined. The fixtures were nice, they seemed fairly new, and the toiletries were acceptable, nothing to write home about. Worth pointing out, the hotel's only a few years old, so compared to your other smaller boutique hotels along the boulevard, this one will have the uh, less wear and tear that you'll see elsewhere. Also, the bathroom is very spacious. I mean, you could have a three, four person dance party in this thing. A lot of floor space for uh, being ocean front because usually they maximize that space. Now this, this door right here, the sliding door, this barn door, however you want to define it, it bugs me because it's a bathroom, right? Bathroom, you're doing bathroom things. Things that usually don't require, you know, people watching. So this door doesn't lock. All you have to do to open this door is kick it, bump it, tap it. You walk by the door too quickly, your shoulder hits this little handle and boom. So I'm gonna call that a con for this room. Now overall, the room's great. I mean, look at this, washer and dryer, full kitchen, full closet, two closets. There was a closet in the master bedroom as well. Just because I'm griping about a few things doesn't mean I don't like it. I really like this room, it's fantastic. Uh, in the front, by the front door, you got your mirror, a little, little shelf, and here's another gripe. No hooks, there's an entire wall here, and there's nowhere to just randomly hang a hat or a jacket or a purse. I understand they have closets, but just a simple $2 hook goes a long way. So having somewhere to hang something is helpful. That's just a general hotel gripe I have. Most rooms don't have hooks by the front door. Again, access to the boardwalk and you are a stone's throw from Pier 14. So let's discuss the elephant in the room when it comes to hotels, COVID. COVID has changed a few things, just like everything else around here. Housekeeping, you don't get it every night. If you need extra towels, toilet paper, etc., you gotta call and they bring it up to your room. They only service the rooms between visits. I mentioned earlier, they have Netflix, Hulu, things like that, very convenient on the smart TVs, both TVs, bedroom and living room. And checkout is 10 a.m. Now that's a little early in my opinion, usually is 11 is what I see. The marketplace, uh, here you can get all sorts of general groceries, which is convenient. If you have the, the stove, the oven, whatnot, microwave, you can cook things at a much cheaper price than going out to dinner right here in your room. Having those groceries down on, the, I believe it's the second floor, it's awesome. And we'll just get a couple pans of the room before moving on. A lot of USBs in the room, by the way, so you don't have to bring an adapter. And here's that pull-out bed I was talking about, the pull-out couch. Uh, not very comfortable, but how many of those pull-out couches actually are comfortable, honestly? This is the little wristband they're gonna give you for the pool, spa, amenity space. So slap that on and you can go downstairs and enjoy some leisurely water sports. So when the sun sets, this is the view you're gonna get looking from the water toward the tower. They do a really good job of keeping the ocean dimly lit in this area. As you can see here, the walkway's lit, Skywheel's lit, but it's pretty dim on the 
beach front itself. There are reasons for that, you know, sea turtles and the like, but I do appreciate looking out your window at a dark ocean. It's a, it's, it's a nice juxtapose to that bright and sunny day that you get over the ocean during the day. There you go, bright and sunny. This is the following morning, shortly after sunrise. And as you can see, there's someone on the beach writing a message to someone up in their hotel room. A happy birthday. Very cool. So now that the sun has risen, do a little time lapse. Why not? Check out that water moving. So this was, is the Ocean Enclave by Hilton, 16th Avenue, Ocean Boulevard. Awesome hotel, awesome room, highly recommend it. There's another video on the channel that has all the amenities covered, uh, all the common areas. So go check that out if you're interested about this hotel specifically. And until the next video, everybody, take it easy.